this is Chris at Ratworks. Today we're going to discuss the Tavor rifle and the basics of service and maintenance on that rifle. Uh, you will see it's a bullpup configuration rifle. This is it. It has the magazine inserted and we'll discuss taking the uh, bull, bull carrier out, cleaning it, taking out the hammer and, uh, and uh, sear pack to check and clean and maintain it. Uh, you'll see the magazine is in the rifle. The easiest way to remove the magazine, it's very well thought out. As you grab the magazine to remove it, the, the magazine release is right at the front. It's natural motion, you grab it, trip it, and the magazine is gone. And when you put it back in, uh, it's another easy motion, very quick, because it's going to be right at the middle of your arm, as you can see. We'll take the uh, butt off here. Uh, it's held by captive pins. All the pins in this gun, these three, are captive pins. They will not fall out. So we'll push out this top one at the back of the butt plate. Again, it's a captive pin. It's not going to go anywhere. And the butt plate swivels down and it exposes the bolt and bolt carrier. And this is what the bolt and bolt carrier looks like. This is how they come out. Uh, in order to service it, of course, you have to disassemble it. And the first thing you'll note is there is play here. To disassemble the bolt, it has the uh, Assembly has to be stretched as far as apart as it can go. And then the takedown pin here in the middle of the carrier is pushed down and out the other side. The pin is pulled out. Don't lose your bolt when you're doing this. The firing pin has a tendency to push it out. The bolt comes out the front. And then the firing pin likewise comes out the front. It is cam actuated. You can see the cam path in the bolt. Take a close look at this extractor. It is a big, heavy, beefy extractor. Any cartridge that goes in that chamber is coming out or else the rim is going to be ripped off. So you scrub it out, brush it out, oil it. And then you can see the firing pin also gets cleaned out. You can see the uh, double-stranded coil spring that's used on the firing pin. You can see the flat on the firing pin. That flat goes to the top when it's inside the carrier so that it clears the guide rod here, approximately this position. So we'll reassemble it. And one thing to remember is you have two flanges on the firing pin. They fit so that one flange is inside, one flange is outside the carrier wall there. I hope you can see that. And then with the firing pin in place, the bolt is inserted. It's a right hand bolt. so it the bolt, the extractor goes to the right, and the cam pin is returned to its place. You'll note there's a flat on the pin, on the flange. It goes to the rear because the hole in the pocket is set to the rear of the pocket. That way it stays in line and does its job the way it's supposed to. It allows the bolt to rotate to lock and to rotate to unlock. All right, set that aside. The hammer and uh, sear pack is here underneath the uh, bolt and bolt carrier. And those also, captive pins. We open up the panel and the uh, hammer and sear pack are right there. This is a little bit different uh, form of a bullpup because instead of a push rod to activate the uh, sear and the hammer, it's a pull rod. This is what the hammer looks like in fired position, what the group looks like. It has to be cocked when it goes back in the rifle. So we'll put that back in the rifle and do a quick insertion reassembly. And while the bolt, bolt carrier are out, of course, you can swab the barrel and chamber, clean all of that out. Now you've got a clean bolt and carrier. It goes back in its place. And we'll discuss some of the other salient features of the rifle. Uh, we mentioned before that removal of the magazine is an automatic uh, feature. Uh, if you will, an automatic reaction when it's empty because you grab the magazine, you trip the release, and it's out. Now I'm going to cock the rifle with the empty magazine in. 
This is the bolt latch release. When you replace the magazine, this one's empty. You put a full one in, obviously it's still empty. It's an, uh, it's an easy motion, you just slap it up and the bolt is released. It goes into battery, you're ready to fire again. It's very fast, very easy. Another thing to remember is this rifle was built from the factory intended to be ambidextrous to the greatest degree. The button for the safety selector can be removed. There's a little plunger in the center that's pushed down with a convenient tool. It slides right out of its dovetail. And the safety selector on the other side, the lever, is removed the same way. And they can switch places. There's the lever, and we will put the button in place. The button actually helps push the plunger down so that it can go into place. For the lever, you have to press the center plunger in first, line it up, and then put it in place. You now have the safety selector on the left hand side. This is a 16 and a half inch barrel model. It's in black, obviously, and uh, with the upper rail. Also has convenient open sights built right into the rail. So if you do not have a chance to get uh, optics or telescope to put on it, you have sights to work with at least to start. And we thank you kindly for checking us out at Ratworks.